Okay. I adjusted more settings. The only other setting that they said I could change is like disabling firewall, which is bad. I don't want to be hacked. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. And then we'll go from there. Okay? Guys, I'm back. I have to run an ad because we're it's noon, so I have to run an ad. Um, how could this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. I don't know the words. <laughs> Once again, I'm live. Okay. If it crashes again, I'm going to be very sad. I'm going to go home, cry dad. But for now, I will return to my business. Let's see if it synced. I will return to my business. Yeah, stream's back. It synced. Yeah, it synced. Sorry, there was double audio. Okay, back to work, everybody. Nothing will keep me from cleaning my beloved client's backyard. What were we talking about before? Nothing controversial, nay. What were we talking about before? Oh yeah, I was talking about like eating my sister's food. The okay, did the stream cut out right when I said no? <laughs> I need to watch that back later, because that, that'd be hilarious if it did. Um, refresh. Hi, wheel. Refresh, refresh. Yeah, hello again. Dude, VOD watchers in shambles. <laughs> um, VOD watchers, I know you're watching the start of this. Um, go submit to that Twitter link. I'll pin it again. I need your help. I am an NPC. I can get different liquids? Holy moly. When are they showing the clips? They usually do that clip stream at the beginning of every month, I think. I didn't know that. Didn't know what? Oh, the liquids? Yeah, I know- I know some will clean faster. I've seen people do it. It's canon, it's real. Pond, rim cleaned! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> ah, 13 plus stream, everybody! They need to fix the form because you can spam. Twitch staff, are you listening? Yeah, that's what I was kind of worried about too. Like, that's why, like, I was hesitant to quote tweet it because I was like, um, someone could easily exploit this. But you know what? I won't, and you guys won't write too, and you won't spam. I cannot talk. I am annoyed. My dad is going to be so mad. I've had to. I've had to stop my work several times. He's gonna be like, why weren't you pressure washing from the time of 11.30 p.m. till noon? And I'll be like, but, but sir, I was but fixing my strip. Why were you streaming on the company time? Because I was trying to 
gain influence of our power washing business, of course. Okay, would you guys watch an IRL power washing stream? Be honest. Because whenever, like, a power washing stream comes up on my TikTok feed, or not stream, like, a video pops up, I'll sit and watch it. It'd be too loud. Oh, dude, yeah. If they had, like, the POV, like, camera strapped to their chest, it'd be right by the nozzle. My mom power washes her house and it's not satisfying. That's because she needs to get good. Obviously. Like, come on. Okay, I'm officially 62% done. Not doing too Lam out. Mod check face cam. Grr. You know what it could be? I did update my computer this morning. And the settings that updated were specifically firewall. So maybe it's like actually my computer. Guys, can we start um a new PC for peace and fun? Peace and PCs. Peace and PCs. Say that five times fast. That would be a horrible business name. People would just say PP. Pee -pee. I'm back. It's good. Dude, this is like the classic peace in days where every day it would just break. What is going on? I, I don't know what the problem is. Maybe I should use my money from my washing business to buy a new PC. The crouching position will never not be funny. Oh my god, these are disgusting. How do I know what booster you need? For COVID, the new booster that is out is a general one, so you don't need to get two shots for this booster. It'll be similar to the flu, where you just need probably one booster every year, is what they're assuming. cannot wait until I get that new vaccine. <laughs> Finally, my wife Sheila will touch me again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding it like this. You got a booster in January. Um, if you're unsure, you can contact your local physician. Or you can probably just bring your Vax card to your local pharmacy and they'll tell you if you're eligible or not. Because I think the last booster that was out that came, I think it came out in like October, la October or September last year and that was specifically for Omicron. And the booster that's out now is just a general one. Ooh, it's done! Plus 30! Okay. 
Now, I think all that's done upstairs is the fence. Oh, this, oh my god, the table. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh yeah, that was it. You got, you got COVID right, right when the boosters came out. I remember. L Mac, honestly. Damn, this is gonna be so hard to clean. But I'm sure once I get enough money, my wife Sheila will love me again. <laughs> I wanted to be my break time already. I'm hungry. <laughs> I've spent all day pressure washing. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. <laughs> and by boss, I mean my father. He's been embezzling money for years, but I just can't tell my mama. <laughs> I don't know what the point of this RP is. Also, guys, make sure you're updated on just normal vaccines. Because um, you know how it's typical to get vaccinated when you're, like, a toddler or baby, and then there's, like, another round of shots when you're, like, heading into junior or high school? Some of the vaccines I learned, um, the ones concerning, like, infections, which you can get from, like, food poisoning or just, like, touching shit sometimes, um, you need to get some boosters when you're like a young adult. So like if you're turning like 22 or 24 You might need boosters for some of those vaccines. So always double check with your PCP or your physician to see if you need more vaccines You have those good because I didn't know Because <laughs> when I go for my checkup next month, I have to get like three shots, which I don't mind. I love the vaccine. Okay, this I think is the hardest thing to clean. I have to get right up on it. Yeah, definitely always call and talk to your physician if you're unsure. Like, don't listen to randos online. Easy. I love my job so much. I think I'm gonna need the stool. Now, imagine if I had a trampoline in this backyard. I could be bouncing and cleaning the whole yard as I'm having fun.
Z. 65%. Oh my god. I hope my father gives me a promotion after this. I deserve to be making much more. You can get the booster? Yay! Good old nepotism? Exactly. And we love it. My daddy was a pressure washer. My grandpappy was a pressure washer. My great grandpappy. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get your booster tomorrow? Lucky? They're not gonna be in my local area for like another week and a half. I'm sad. But, I'm also glad we're getting another booster. Cause... Last time... Or the only booster available to me was in October. So like, I haven't had a booster since. So that's kind of been an L, but... I do think... If... The COVID boosters were like an annual one, like the flu, then I think people would be more open to getting it. Like... A big gripe that people had with the, um, what's, how do you say it? Like, where you need to get two to get the full vaccination. I, there, I forgot the technical term. But, like, a lot of people are like, oh, I'll just get the first one but not finish my Moderna or, Moderna or Pfizer. Like, people are dumb. And anyway, guys, get your vaccines. Should I get my flu shot too? Yeah. I think you can get them at the same time. As always, ask your physician. But usually you can get multiple vaccines at once. Like, you're usually fine. You had a bad reaction to it as a kid, so it's scary. Oh, I get that fear, but you know what, Mac? You're an adult now, and if you have to stay home, you can use your sick hours and get paid to be in pain. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, but it's valid. I used to be really scared of shots too when I was younger. But the main reason why was because my parents would um, get my sister and I vaccinated at the same time. So I would see her freak out. And then I would cry because seeing her get scared would scare me. I usually don't get sick after vaccinations. Like, I'm very lucky. Um... But ultimately, vaccines keep you safe and healthy. And less prone to um, life-threatening diseases for you and your family. Well, this is so satisfying. Oh my god, I did it. I didn't crack. <laughs> Step on a crack, break your mama's back. Little did I know that that was actually true. My mom's been bedridden for years. That's why I spent all my time pressure washing. You're gonna get it today? Hey, yo? Even better. You can hear the sweet shine of my voice. <gasps> Ain't no way. Thank you. 
I appreciate the raid. Welcome in. Hello. Welcome in. Wait, I think this is the right... Wait, RD? Hey, that's the right message. Hello. Welcome in. Thank you for the follows, guys. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Guys, welcome in the Raiders. We're playing um, Pressure Washer Simulator. Ignore the uptime. My stream crashed. I will be playing until 5 p.m. I'm working a real job, guys. It's a real job. Thank you for the follows. I am in 10 minute follow mode. I'm sorry. But welcome in. Here. I will disable 10 minute mode, but you guys better behave. You guys have to behave. You promise? The floodgates are open. <laughs> <laughs> you guys better behave. Use your free follower emotes. Don't monk a W. <laughs> but welcome in, Crow. What'd you guys do? Us behave? No! Bots, get menacing. Get them. Um, new chatters. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Welcome in. I don't do this often. Better behave. The raid emote goes crazy. It does look nice. Playing some Texas Chainsaw? That sounds scary. It's too early for scary games. That's for October. Keep an eye out for menacing. Should we put like a mod comment on them? Be honest. <laughs> so stupid. How'd you find my channel? May I ask? Menacing is a lovely lady. What if you guys are all lying? You guys are new. We don't know. I am very good and friendly. You're supposed to put a kappa at the end. Otherwise, we don't know if it's real. Welcome in. <clears throat> I've been following your TikTok for a while. Really? Nice. We love TikTok frogs. I don't have the Kappa emote. It's a global Twitch emote. It's just capital K-A-P-P-A. -P -P -A. No, sorry. <laughs> also, you should have free follower emotes. Yeah, see Kappa. Everybody can type Kappa. Peep mods ban Mac. Seriously. We're not starting that meta in this chat room. Emotes are scary. Mine are not scary. Peace I too smile. <laughs> no, okay, story time. So this was like a year ago. Some one of my friends put Peace I too nope, a long forgotten emote. And a streamer called it scary. And the emote was just me going like this. And they called my face scary. Why are you calling my face scary? It's not scary. Construction fact? Okay, guys. Construction fact number three. Women earn almost as much as men. Wow. Although there's only about 9% of workers in the U.S. construction industry that are women, they do earn closer to what men earn on average. Okay, this is something we can actually talk about. Because... I don't understand how there can be such a discrepancy in pay between anybody. I think you should be able to ask for a raise whenever you want. And just because you ask doesn't mean they'll respect it, but you know, it never hurts to ask. Right? Because what usually happens is that either if you're going into a new company or just gradually asking for more raises, a lot of like women feel like less or they're more hesitant to ask for raises because they're just like systemic pressures and stuff, right? So guys, girlies, NBs, don't ever be scared to ask for a raise. It doesn't matter. It might hurt your pride like a little bit, but ultimately your boss will forget the next day if they say no. Like they don't give a shit. Like ask for 50 cents more. Ask for a dollar more. Because even if you get a dollar more, let's do the math. <gasps> No, Mac. Oh, no. 
Lomel, my dad recently said women don't make as much because they don't want to work as hard and they want equality but don't actually want it. Oh my god, that's insane, dude. Mag, please don't be like your dad. I'll ask my unemployment for a raise on it. Dude, my sister's on unemployment. She got laid off two months ago and it sucks. Anyway, like, I don't, uh, it's so stupid. Okay. Because unemployment is, like, covered by, like, the government and the employer, right? That's why people can get basically very quickly approved for unemployment benefits. Um, it's stupid. Like, because I think the max you can get from unemployment is, like, 500 or something a week. Which is still 2000 a week. But it depends on, like, how much wages you made before. So, like, let's say somebody was working minimum wage. Like, they're going to get very little from unemployment. So, I think if somebody's put on unemployment, they should make the same wages that they were making before. That's my opinion. Like, how can you expect somebody to live off of, like, poverty wages on unemployment? Like, it's just going to put so, more, so many more barriers in place for those people until they are able to find employment once again. Like, it's not sustainable income. <laughs> like, I feel like if somebody's put on unemployment, they should get automatically approved for, like, rental assistance program or food stamps. It should not be income-based for those two um, commodities. Or it could be different in different states, but Washington is definitely more, one of the more progressive ones, but it's still very hard to get approved for food stamps as a household. Okay, anyway. If you made a dollar more a year, or a <laughs> dollar more an hour, a dollar more a year, imagine. Okay, so if you work a 40-hour week times one times four, that's an extra 160 bucks a week times 12 that's an extra $1,900 a year so don't be afraid to ask for a raise guys even if it seems small or another strand want to hear pro strand you ask your co-workers how much they make you cannot get in trouble for asking how much everybody else makes even if your manager says oh you'll get rich enough that's technically like a labor violation you could literally snitch and get like thousands of dollars from LNI. Your employer cannot tell you to not share your wages. So if you work in like a shop and you find out that some bozo who got hired last week is making five dollars more than you, ask for a five dollar raise. What are they gonna do? <laughs> Be asking other streamers how much they make? Well, okay, that's different. That's different. Because I think it's very public information what the sub split is based on if you're affiliate or like a certain degree of partner streamer, right? Like, I cannot explicitly say the percentage, but you can look it up yourself. Um, like, it, it's weird because when I look at my analytics, my sub split looks different. Like, it looks less than what it should be, but then like, I have a lot of European viewers, so the money conversion rate is different than compared to like USD. So I, have, I always have to remember that. Um, TLDR, guys, ask for a raise. Nobody cares. Like, just do it. Shia LaBeouf. I remember when I was working at Subway, like, I was so happy to get a 20 cent raise. When in reality, I should have been asking for, like, a $3 wage increase. Because that was when I was doing um, management work. And I was managing two locations. What is left on here? Is there a bag? Bruh. <laughs> so I was doing like, I was getting paid 16 an hour back when the Washington minimum wage was like 13. And I should have been asking for 20. But little old me was unexperienced. I was like 21 at the time. I'm, I'm 24. And look where I'm at now. Um, but I was, I could have been asking more. And I remember when I was leaving that establishment, like, <laughs> little drama. Like, the regional, or sorry, the franchisee was, like, offering my position to other people within the crew. And she was offering, like, 19 an hour when I was still making 16. Anyway, so guys, don't be scared to ask for a raise or another pro strand. Another pro strat you can do is threaten to quit and see if they offer you a raise. I've had friends do that and they'll get like a $2 increase in wages. It's a strat. It is a strat. Okay, I'm re-enabling 10 minute mode. You guys behaved, but for new people, sorry, you have to wait.
<laughs> oh, I thought it was crouched. <laughs> Not me stretching to see if I get taller. Another strat that I want to try is I don't understand how for like entry level work somebody who's like 30 can make the same amount of wages as like a teenager and I don't mean just based on age I mean based on experience so like why should somebody who's just entering the workforce be paid minimum oh wait no that makes sense never mind why should somebody who has like years of customer service experience like let's say you're you're switching between like McDonald's and then you go to Jack in the Box when you're like 30. Like why should someone who has more years experience not have the desire to ask for a higher wage off the start? I wish more people had the courage to do that. Because that's something I've been trying to explain to my sister. Because she's been in the workforce for about three to four years I think total. Because she had like off and on periods. So it's like why not ask for like a dollar more right at the start okay also you you don't ask for like a wage during the interview you ask after you're offered the job and then you can like negotiate a wage you don't bring it up during an interview unless they explicitly ask you like what is your desired income or desired wage otherwise you do not bring it up during an interview This is coming along quite nicely. That's what happens when you cancel some subscriptions? Like, what do you mean? You mean like, me canceling my Netflix after my mom kicked me? Like, what? Okay, so we've been live for about 30 minutes and no stream issues. So I think adjusting those internet se settings helped. VOD watchers, hopefully this is the last VOD. This is the last VOD you'll have to watch unless. Oh, okay, I get what you mean. So it seems like the saying you'll quit or cancel strat actually works in multiple contexts. Gonna go back in a week for your flu? Yay! Very nice. We love vaccines. I, I don't, I've never had like an internet bill in my name so like I haven't had the chance to try that strat yet. And HelloFresh, that works too. Not sponsored. <laughs> I would never take a HelloFresh sponsor because they are anti-union and we love unions. Okay, 77% done. Holy, okay. I see what I must do. Guys, the only sponsor I would take would be um, Peace and Art, guys. Exclamation Art in chat. Go check out the website. Otherwise, I will never take a sponsor. I won't do it. Unless... We canceled our cable boxes, but they took the Wi-Fi as well. <gasps> That's so scum. That's so scum. You should cancel them and put them on Blast Mac. I think we have like... Because I think our modem has like its own Wi-Fi, but it's still connected to Xfinity. But it's not in my name, so I can't do shit to it. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends? Never! Even though I do think I would like the game. <laughs> like, after... Playing Let's Build a Zoo, I might like the Resource S games, which is very bad. I don't want to start that prospect. What even is that game? 
Wait. You know, I feel like every single Raid Shadow Legends sponsor has the same, like, opening hook line. Imagine I just whipped out that hook right now and just went into full, like, promo mode. I thought Raid was an RPG. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I could be thinking of a different one. But you know what? All mobile games are horrible and we hate them. You know what else I hate? Not following the channel. Because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, um, follow. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Smile. What about Mario Kart Tour? I didn't like Tour. It was I, but like not the best. Like, I thought it was going to be good, but it wasn't. I think it's because, like, nothing will compare to the actual Mario Kart. That's my biggest gripe. Wait, Mario Kart Tour is only bots? I thought it was online. It's actually all bots? You're spreading misinfo. That can't be real. So, when I was playing that one time, that was, those were all bots? That's insane. I guess they didn't want little babies playing Mario Kart Tour to get mad whenever they lose. Easy. I love my job. Makes my wife Sheila happy when I come home with loads of money. Sheila sounds like such an old lady name. You don't know how old I am. I might be 73, but still young and spry. This one's disgusting. You guys, this game is so satisfying. What's left on this fence post? I don't see nothing. Okay, I didn't notice this earlier. Ew! Oh my god. A place that I never thought to clean was the, like, bottoms of chairs. Because that was, like, the one thing I didn't deep clean when I moved in. And I remember I was sitting at the, like, the dining room table and I was moving one of the chairs, like, I guess, like, holding the base, like, underneath. And there was, like, shit on my fingers. I was like, oh my god, so I, I, had, I cleaned up the chairs one day. Dude. When I get my own house, yes, I will buy used furniture, but I'm not getting any cloth. I'm only getting wood furniture. Well, I guess you'd have to buy a cloth couch. Because <laughs> wood is just so much easier to clean. How does that even happen? It's just grime. It just happens over time. 
I'd be so embarrassed getting all this cleaned. I mean, I don't think it matters because the only people that would really know would be like the cleaner and that's just their day to day. It's kind of like being embarrassed when your nurse has to like clean up your bedpan. It's just, it's just the job. I guess it'd only really be embarrassing if we're having like friends over because like, um, my parents' house it's not like super hoardy hoardy but it's like getting there so it was always really like embarrassing having people see it or like friends come over like whenever people would come over they would like cover stuff with cloths so i can kind of get that aspect but usually whenever i see a home that's like cluttered or dirty it's not that they're lazy there's other stuff going on I know my room right now is a bit cluttered. I leave projects out on the table. My, my The pathways are clean. I don't have just like clothes on the floor. Because that's my personal line. Like I, I don't have anything that would make it a safety hazard. It's just I'm not super organized. And like I get embarrassed whenever I have a friend come over. But they're like, oh, it's fine. You're mentally ill. And I'm like, you're right. I have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I love pulling that card. And then there will be days when I have phases where, like, I want to clean everything. I remember... Okay, this was an anecdotal, like, TikTok story I heard. But it was this one girl talking about how, as an adult, like, living on her own, she really struggled with, like, cleaning. Because it was either used as, like, punishment when she was younger or, like, she had a parent that was, like, very critical of how she cleaned. Like, if there was, like, a single speck in the kitchen, she was forced to, like, reclean the whole thing. And, like, I kind of had a similar experience. And, like, somebody stitched it on TikTok and it was, like, a psychologist talking about how there can be, like, a lot of residual traumas related to cleaning if it's used as, like, discipline or if you have like a very critical parent because it can be seen as like not being in full control of that situation in the moment so there can be like a lot of residual anxiety related to cleaning afterwards if the kid experiences that and i think i can kind of relate to that in the sense of i it's not that i enjoy cleaning i like choosing what i can clean like it's not necessarily a weekly task for me it's just whenever I can see, like, let's say hair or dust on the floor, or if somebody tracks in mud. I won't leave it. I will clean it if it needs to be cleaned. Like, I don't have a designated cleaning day because I noticed when, for example, one of my cleaning days were Mondays, I would get really anxious leading up to Mondays. Because in the days before, I would think to myself, like, oh, Monday, I have to do this thing that I don't really want to do. So once I changed my mindset to, oh, just do it whenever it needs to be done, I've been feeling a lot better. But since my job is power washing, I do cleaning every day now. And I look forward to it, because I love my job and my father's age of ag business. I mean, power washing business. <laughs> and I love crouching under tables. It reminds me of the days when I used to play a pillow fort with my father. I said fort, not fart. Big difference. What is left on here? Oh, right here. Oh, it's disgusting. Great heavens. Easy. Birdhouse stand. Okay, let's go back to that. Just me army crawling across the backyard. <laughs> Damn, this garden is looking pretty nice, if you ask me. See, look, this 
Perfect. Lovely. Turn around. Oh, no. I'm going to do the little tack next. I used to have one of these battery operated cars when I was younger. I was very sad when I was too big to ride in them. Mainly because my ass was too fat. <laughs> but instead of having battery, they should be like EVs. And we should have like a separate lane for kids. I think that'd be so cute. Also, you know how sometimes at like grocery stores or malls, they'll have the shopping carts that have like a plastic car like decal on it? And then it has like a separate seat for the kid to sit and it's like they're driving the car. I always wanted to do it, but of course they would charge you like five bucks, so my parents never did. But I always thought they were so cute. I gave up. What did you say, Mac? We need to delete your message again? Jeez. I don't think a day has gone by when you haven't gotten auto-modded or message has gotten deleted, Meg. From Calvin. Looks like you're almost done. My girls can't wait to get out there. <laughs> Your foot got rolled over by one of the little cars? That sucks. You should wear shoes next time. Yeah, fit, foot is a block term. Because you guys abused it. Somebody pull up the clip. Easy. Now. Feet. You know what I'm going to do? I'm a tyrant today. <laughs> Try again, suckers. Nice try, y'all. You thought you could get past me? Mods! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop trying to skirt the auto mod. You're so bad. You guys are so bad. You guys need to behave. We had new people today. They're gonna think we're weird. Jesus Christ. No, 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 we're not weird Kappa. If they're on Twitch, they're weird too. Okay, honestly, true. Valid. Very real and true. Guys, um, type one if you're weird. 
Type two if you're lying. I'm surprised I haven't, like, gotten annoyed of the sound of the water. Like, it ain't too bad. I have yet to put my own music in or anything. Two items left. The swing, and then the shad. <laughs> this game sped up would go crazy? Oh, for sure. Oh my god. Dude, please don't leave, like, cushions outside. It's so disgusting. Guys, come on. Do better. Wow. This game is so satisfying. Look how clean it is now. <laughs> we did a compilation of every time I say this game is satisfying. That'd go crazy. Just throw it out. Dude, that's what I'm saying. There's probably so many bugs in it. I'm just gonna leave that, like, poop stain right there. Maybe I can still get a hundred. He blocked the emoji too? Yeah. That's why, guys, if you're trying to skirt Automa, don't tell me all the ways to skirt it right away. I will forget. Yeah, my parents used to have a swing similar to this, but it had, like, it had a metal frame, and, like, the base of the bench was metal, but then you had to put, like, a cloth cushion on it. But they would leave the cushion outside. So like the metal frame got rusty. The cushions got rusty because the cushion was on the frame. It was not good. I didn't know you could block emojis. Yeah. I remember there was one time Hacker. I don't know why. But they typed like the peach emoji in chat. Like as a joke and it got like blocked. <laughs> Or it got, um, it didn't get blocked, it got, um, flagged for Automod. Yeah, sometimes Automod be catching things I wouldn't even think about. But that's why we love her. Always looking out for me, my one true friend. I can never get into Courage the Cowardly Dog. It was a bit too scary for me. I guess I'll have to get rid of the poop stain. It has to be done. Wait, is Flan bad? I love Flan.
Z. Yeah, I think this is going to be the most annoying to clean, though. Getting under that stuff would be hard, IRL. Eh, that's why we got the army pose. I learned this in the Marines. I also killed people. Damn, it's a wooden frame too. Ew, just throw it away. Cause like the way it's colored, it makes it look like black mold. It doesn't look like dirt, it looks like mold. That's why like I really don't like it. Blue chains on the white soap? Is this a playground? What? Oh, it's just reflecting. The metal textures in this game are crazy. It almost looks like chrome. I love my job so much. I get to spend my day doing satisfying work. So I can go home and never mind. <laughs> yeah, talk to Sheila, exactly. Wondering if it's just the Switch version? I guess it could be, but I didn't expect the metal to be that reflective. I'm just glad it's ported to the Switch. Because, like, I will be able to play PC games at some point, it's just I want to hold off on it. And for sure my computer would not be able to handle it for stream. PC games would you want to play? I don't know. I don't really, like, keep up with, like, other console games or other PC games because, like, I know I can't play them, so I just don't stay up to date. Like, that's why, for stream, I just watch the Nintendo Directs. I don't watch, like, the Xbox, Xbox Showcase stuff. So I know I won't be able to play it because I don't have an Xbox. You know what I do have, though? Um, an ad for some of you suckers. Because we are another hour under stream. Contrary to popular belief, I've technically been live for four hours now. So it's time for me to run some ads. And it's time for me to take my 30-minute union break. So guys, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Or you can take advantage of the September discounts to where you can get up to 25% off of your tier 1 subscription. You can also link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Yes, 30 minutes of ads, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, commercial 180. Subscribe and follow. If you're new here, follow. We're, we're so close to hitting our goal. Smile. Follow. Okay. So. I'm going to go heat up my lunch because my sister's not home. So I'm going to heat up my lunch. And as I am doing that... Wait, I should save the game. I cannot lose all my progress. Okay, I'm going to put on a little video for you guys. We are live. Oh, so why is it Maggie playing? Stop playing. There we go. Okay, we're gonna watch my newest YouTube video. Oh, I have to change the audio settings too. Hold. So I don't want to hear it. What's for what's for lunch, your mom? Easy. Actually, I'll keep the audio settings like this. Cancel. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna go heat up my lunch. We're gonna play the video, watch the video. Um, if you wanna watch the full video and like it, it is my newest YouTube video. I made a breakfast feast for chat. Smile. Look at all these other videos I have. Wow. Wow. Guys, go subscribe. use your channel points and you can put in a request for pancake art as you can see in my lovely spread i saw this today four dollars for this tub so minus two dollars because i didn't buy the proper one or the cheaper one so this you apparently shake and pour this seems more easy because we don't have a lot of bowls in this house i have whipped cream i have syrup sugar free because i want to believe that i want to try and be healthy blueberry topping for I guess syrup. I was gonna make like fresh blueberry topping, but they didn't have any blueberries at the store. The only like fresh berries they had were strawberries. I also ordered these squirt bottles. Whenever I see people do pancake art, I see them use like these really tall bottles. But the problem is when you work with bottles, all the filling goes to the bottom. In my head, I was like, if I use a smaller bottle, it's probably gonna be easier to dispense. And then we have food coloring. So I think that's all. Oh, I also have chocolate chips because my sister wanted chocolate chips in hers. The main focus of today is going to be the actual pancake art, but I also have bacon, sausage, and eggs. We're making a feast today. Should I RP as a chef today? I think I can because what do all chefs need an apron? Oh geez, well, remember, this is from the Cooking Mama stream. Also, it hides my tummy. We love that. <laughs> okay, I tuck my aprons in the front. Um, I know that can be a problem because depending on how tall you are, the strings can get on the counter. But I'm short, so it's not a problem. Okay, should we get started? What should I do first? So I'm, I usually bake oven or I bake bacon in the oven. So that takes 20 minutes. It's gonna take a while for the oven to preheat because I want to be done by 4.30 to 5. I'm only cooking for people in the house, so I don't necessarily need to wash my hands all the time. If I was cooking for like a party, I definitely would, so don't worry. So I usually get a large tray. These are hashtag not sponsored. These are Ninja Never Stick trays. Best purchase my sister made for the kitchen. They're so easy to clean, nice non-stick. And then I also put a tray down. If you allow the bacon grease to drip down, it'll make the bacon like crispier. Everybody taking notes? This is how you make the best bacon in the world. Another thing I do when I cook is I will date whenever I open it. I always put things into like Ziplocs, Tupperwares, or mason jars because I get super paranoid about like germs getting into like leftover food. As with most like refrigeration or ovens, the temperature, it's so, like the coolant or the heat in the oven circulates through a fan. So therefore all the germs travel throughout the unit if you have like chicken and the juice spills then all the germs from the chicken juice will circulate throughout the fridge i don't like thinking about that so i just put it into ziploc bags if it's open when i get bacon i usually don't put the pre or the like the formed slices because those are way too expensive so at my local grocery store they have a packaging called ends and pieces so it's just like a whole bunch of like oddly shaped pieces and it's like eight dollars for how much was this probably like three pounds okay all their bacon is laid out now it's fine if it's touching because the bacon will usually shrink about like nearly 50 percent in size okay we have bacon ready also remind me before i open the oven to turn the fan on and it sucks because the fire alarms in our unit they're all electric because they're electric they're all like internally connected so if one goes off, they all go off. Okay, everybody. We are a real kitchen. We're gonna have real we're gonna have real tickets, okay? Everybody who places an order will get a ticket on the oven. <laughs> let's see. What orders have we gotten? Okay, let's see. We had Yoshi pancakes. Yoshi P. We have one order for Kirby pancakes. You know, I'm a one-man operation, so no guarantee all tickets will be done, okay? See, one order for Marshall pancakes. Anybody else want to place an order? Chocolate pancakes? Okay, another another ticket on the docket. We have five orders coming in. What I loved about working at Subway was just making the food. It was fun. 
And like talking to customers was fun too, but just making sandwiches was like surprisingly fun. Directions. Add a one and a half cup cool water to container. Shake for 30 seconds. And then cook as normal. Easy. Okay, I'm gonna pour this one in. Dude, I'm a pro. Ooh, oven's ready. Now the baking can go and fan goes on. Everybody close your ears. The fan is very loud. <laughs> My laptop when I open YouTube. My laptop whenever I turn it on. Okay, so I usually bake it for 25 minutes. I like my bacon to be a little bit chewy, but a little bit crispy. Okay, water's in, everybody. Make sure it's on nice and tight. Should I do this over the sink? I'm doing it over the sink. I can't see. <laughs> this feels way too liquidy. <laughs> I don't think I did this right. It's kind of like perfect. First order that I think I can complete. I wanna do Kirby, because I was thinking about that last night and I think Kirby is gonna be easy. Surprisingly, the batter is only this much of the actual, it's only half. I feel like I got scammed. It says it makes 12 to 15 pancakes. They're probably like baby pancakes. <laughs> okay, this is not turning black. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't that look blue on camera? I promise it's, it's gray. But you know why it looks blue? It's because black is not a natural occurring color in nature. This is gonna need a lot of ink. So if you're like doing drawings or paintings, you should use indigo instead of black to shade. Whenever you see black in nature, it's always gonna be more of a blue. Okay, realistically, how many pancakes am I gonna get done? <laughs> oh my guys. Wait time today, if you place an order, will be about an hour. I'm sorry, we're understaffed today. We have only one chef, one server, manning bowl stations. Bad or good? No. Wait, it has raw flour in it. I should not have eaten that. I'm gonna die. Guys, don't eat raw flour. It could have like actual fecal matter in it. Now let's actually get to work. Our pan is hot. Okay, so when you do pancake art, you're gonna wanna do the outline first because that part will cook first. And similar to if you're making a stamp press, you have to make sure that whatever colors you put down first will be in the front. So you basically want to do your outlines and then color fills. Let's do a test over here. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, using the smaller bottles is working so well. Why did I grab blue? Okay, I'm gonna do this over. That way these don't fall out when I flip the pancake. See, look, look, it's bubbling a lot. I'll wait like one more minute to flip it. Cause since the batter's really thin, it's cooking really quickly. Okay, I'm gonna flip. Ready? Oh my God, it's so good. A little bit burnt, but still good. Oh my God. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> It's genuinely so good. Guys, should I open a restaurant? Okay, I have a minute left on the bacon. That's crazy. No, I'm just crazy good. Gonna run I hop out of business. On God, on God. Let's get a close up of my Kirby though. It's actually pretty decent. If you saw this, would you know it's Kirby? Okay, Alright, plug your ears. The fan's gonna be loud. I didn't set the fire alarm off. Let's go. <laughs> Is it all you can eat? Um, yes, but there's a limit to like how much the kitchen can produce. Today. Let's see. We got our Kirby pan. <laughs> I did ass thought my fire alarm was going off right now because I told you guys it went off randomly at like 4 a.m. or 5 4 or 5 a.m. today. <laughs> Bad video to play today. Oh my god. Pancake done. Let's see. Um, um, let's do Sonic next because I have blue. 
Ooh, I'm scared. Oh no, this is bad though. This is bad. Oh yeah, it's mine, it's mine. I'm gonna flip. My sh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's Sonic, not Sonic. This is the um, royalty free knockoff merch. <laughs> okay, and actually, if you saw this, you would know it's Sonic. Yeah, can you guys see the steam? Holy. Okay, next pancake. I think I will do Yoshi next. The lovely thing about cartoons is that they're all based on simple shapes. Like Kirby circle, Sonic circle with triangles, Yoshi circle with ovals. Pancake number three. I think this one's gonna be burnt because I didn't have enough batter ready because by the time like the new batter bakes or cooks then the old batter is gonna be like brown okay, I'm gonna flip it now I don't want it to burn Burnt. Put the pattern on the, the nose. It kind of looks like his nostrils, though. Okay, that one was a fail because I just didn't have enough batter. The shape looks decent. It's just Yoshi with a sun tan. The Yoshi is wild, like in a good way. But see if it kind of like spiral here. It kind of does look like nostrils, though. 10 out of 10. Thank you, Lemon. Honestly, hot take. I don't mind if there's like hair in food because like hair doesn't get mixed in. I feel like there's a lot worse things. Ooh, look how perfect these are. Ooh, the, the slap. Can you guys hear the slap? Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that one was bad. Pancakes are done. I'll show all of the custom ones when we're done cooking everything. And okay, now we're gonna do eggs and sausage. Hashtag not sponsored. The little baby ones, these are my sister's favorite because they have like little pockets of cheddar inside them. Everybody, when you're going grocery shopping, you have to look at the cost per ounce per unit rather than the actual dollar amount. Because just because it's a dollar cheaper doesn't mean it's actually cheaper when you're looking at how much it costs per serving. Ooh, I should not have put the juice in there. Oops, this is way too many. <laughs> That's way too many in there. Oopsie, guys, I'm a pro chef. Now, what I like to do when I do sausages, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it, but I like them when they're seared and steamed. So as they're like browning, I'll put a lid on the pan. That way the steam cooks it from the top as well. Instead of using olive oil, I use bacon grease for my eggs. Ooh, that's hot. So I have this on medium high and then my egg pan on low now because you just want to heat it up to melt your oil or grease and then I usually when I scramble eggs I put it on low. The sausages are pre-cooked so I don't have to worry about them being raw. You see usually if you're cooking for like a mass amount of people you're going to want to crack your eggs in a separate bowl because there are some times where um, you'll have a yolk that is already germinated and you'll have like a baby bird inside your egg. I haven't had it happen before, but I've seen like clips of it. So if you work in a kitchen, typically you'll crack them into a separate bowl and then you transfer them to your main bowl. Because if you crack them all to your main bowl, let's say you crack nine eggs and then your 10th egg is a dead egg, then all of that is contaminated. I got lucky, no bad eggs. Okay, so see how it's steaming? I personally like cook like that. So when I season my eggs, I just use the normal, what I put for everything. So I have garlic powder, 
salt and pepper. I usually do a little bit of like Italian herb and then a little bit of paprika. Okay, so to make a good scrambled egg, you have to be whisking. You can also use chopsticks, spatula, because when you do this swirling motion, it kind of curdles the eggs and it gives it a much fluffier texture. And I'm also cooking this on low heat, because if you cook it too fast, it's harder for it to curdle as evenly. So as I'm going, I'm scraping the sides. You can also use a regular turner or spatula. You can see how I'm not just mixing in the center, I'm going around the edge, that way I don't miss a section. You can also mix in cheese, veggies, or milk. My eggs are still very watery, very runny. Oh, that is really blown out, I'm sorry. <laughs> but just to see the motion of it better. When you're making scrambled eggs, you take it off the heat just before it's fully done. Because when you let it rest, it still cooks a little bit. It all looks so yummy, thank you. I'm hungry too, man. See how it looks clumpy? That's the curdle. So these are almost done. So probably maybe another minute on heat. I personally like underdone eggs, but not everybody likes that. So I have to make sure these are all adequately cooked. Oh, okay. Another thing to know, I just did that wrong. When you remove lids off of pans, make sure that you're opening away from you. Because if you open towards you, then the steam will escape and burn your hands. So make sure opening away from you, unlike I did earlier. That was a good thing. Okay, these are good. So I'm gonna turn off the heat. Perfecto. I can finally sit down now. Okay. Are you guys ready? No serving for chat today because I'm hungry. Sausages are good. The char is good. Can I be honest? I don't like pancakes. Or waffles. If I'm gonna have bread for breakfast, I want it to be actually good. I feel like pancakes, you need a topping on it. I want something that's standalone good. That's why I like crepes. Because those come with topping. I actually wait. The pancakes, since it came out really thin, like with the little squirt bottles, you can't really make the pancakes too thick. They're surprisingly really light and fluffy. Actually pretty good. I still wouldn't order pancakes from a restaurant, but I think everything on the plate was collectively pretty good. But I think the best thing on the plate had to be the eggs. I think the eggs were really good. I think I'm gonna eat more, but honestly, I don't wanna look like too much of a glutton. Today, I will be playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe ranked online until I get first. Now, usually, I can get this in like maybe two hours if I really try hard. But today, you guys are going to be asking me any questions you like to try and distract me. So this could take literally an hour or all day. My schedule is clear. It's currently 11.13. I have literally all day to complete this challenge. Okay, today we're gonna do worldwide because there's not enough people playing in the States right now. It's 11 a.m. on a Tuesday. My rank is 7,200. I've been about at 7K for a few months, but that's because I don't play every day. You know, I don't grind. If I could, I would. You know, if I generally tried, I could be on a pro team. Ooh, I don't know how to play. I get so many comments saying Gold Mario and Gold Peach are cringe. I think it's a flex. I'll be honest, it's a flex. Um, we'll do Peach because Barbie movie. Oh, wait, it's, I'm already eaten. it. <laughs> okay, challenge starts now. I didn't want to start now, though. I wanted to stall a little bit. Guys, ask away. Try to distract me. I also have my cue card. I used to love this track on the Wii, but I'm not that good at it, I've realized. Also, on the Wii, they only had token goals, and I never realized how difficult it was. Until I started, until I was able to do like the joystick controls for the Switch. I generally don't know how we play tilt controls. Okay, 
Okay, this is the optimal route in my opinion. I don't care if it's faster, it's just easier to land on the actual mushrooms. Okay, I don't think I'm doing too bad. I got fourth place. Hi, Cokes. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Thank you. You believe in me? Ain't no way. Oh my god. They collided. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Stop! Wait, I'm in second place? Okay. Imagine I beat this on the first race. <laughs> Guys, 20 minute stream. Wait, no way. No way. No way I beat this first try. I this this can't be real. Are you guys in my lobby? Are you guys throwing? would take all day i legitimately thought it would take all day i knew you'd win at least one thank you no i would have to win one to end the stream obviously that's not a nice thing to say i meant to say win in a small time span sure sure i still want to play though i was like ready to play i wanted to farm some keg w's today We are live. I'm going to be reading out loud some of the weirdest, most unhinged chat messages I've ever gotten in my stream. You should join the high pals. I didn't think global warming was that bad until this year. I'm prepared to be canceled, but... Chick-fil-A is kind of mid. Have you ever had a mayo popsicle? Don't judge me, but do you watch anime? Are you going to leave your bank to anybody when you die of old age? I'll take payment through Cash App. Would a funeral live stream be TOS? Automod held a message for a reason, bullying. Twitch is trash. This is a joke, Twitch. Don't clap me when I stream. Do you actually shrink if you get struck by a lightning? I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna give my children dog names. Yes, I'm insane. Oh my god, ban me! Ah! That was supposed to be on. I just scream sometimes. Hose water is bussin'. I sucked at a dog treat because it tasted like real peanut butter and was made by real peanut butter. What annoys you the most about straight people? Choke the child. One time, I made a bad joke and Meg missed it. I'm glad nobody saw it because I regretted it immediately after. Are you really a cannibal if you only eat dumb people? Slash J. Sometimes, I feel like I can reach into the screen. I'm in your walls, Meg. I'm in your walls. On the first day of middle school, I cried, Lamau. What would you say the age gap should be in a relationship? At most. Oh my god, I'm being hit on by my fave streamer. Your streams are always so fun to watch and it kind of inspired me to start XD. I just bought a capture card and I'm so excited. 
Whoever on alive's first wins. Out of context, some of the chat is insane. Dude, we I need to do another video like that at some point. I should do like an annual. This burger is pretty good. So today, I'm getting ready for my try. Classic era. stream. I tried to get a real job. It didn't work. I worked in two third servers. Didn't work. I tried streaming. I think it's going well, but you know, honestly, not sustainable. So I think I need to go back to my roots and go back to the goddamn kitchen. I can't, I can't. Guys, I'm a progressive. I'm a lefty. I'm allowed to joke sometimes, okay? In order to get ready to practice, you know, I haven't cooked in a while. I did make some chicken pot roast last week. That was pretty good. But I haven't, like, baked or stovetop cooked in a while. So I think the best way to prepare myself is by playing Cooking Mama, obviously. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Should we be... Um, real Americans or vegans um, today? America? Okay. Are we gonna do these in inner order? So, I don't know how many recipes are in the- Wait! I forgot the opening gag! So, I'm getting hungry. for every three-star recipe I get, I get a gold sticker on my apron, because I'm a good kid. You know, I need to be rewarded sometimes. Let's, Let's do rainbow grilled cookie. cheese, because, you know, Gage, we are looking for a sugar mama, not a sugar daddy. Here we go! Here we go. <laughs> yeah, good noodle Let's stickers, exactly. Started. Slice the bread. With the Joy-Con to saw through each slice. Okay, easy, easy. No way I lose here. <laughs> We're speedrunning. Oh, okay, let's not do that. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, okay, I'm supposed to pull it towards me. Don't give nobody, up. nobody say bad things. Nobody make jokes okay no jokes we're in no joke chat room next up grate some cheese easy talking about grating cheese has anybody like ever like grated off part of their finger i swear i have plenty of times but now that i have longer nails i don't know I, I i'm just shaving off my nails not my actual finger this time you can i love the way mama talks me too me too Hurry up. <laughs> come on you know what I use for- Oh my god! Oh, I thought it was out of time. <laughs> um, what I use for, like, grating cheese, well, it if it's a hard cheese, I'd recommend using, like, a microplane, which you use to, like, zest the lemon. You get a nice, a finer grated cheese, and it melts a lot easier. Wait, I didn't read what we're doing. Ready? Get Pay attention! Go. Okay, okay. Amazing. Oh, we're, di we're dying the cheese. I Okay, I will be honest, I did practice this recipe before stream, so I, I'm not cheating, I just know what to expect. Oh! I, I swung. Perfect. I tried to shoot my shot, but I didn't have to. <laughs> Pray, Mama's impressed. Oh my gosh, we impressed her, guys. Do you think we'll seduce her? <laughs> okay, arrange the rainbow cheese. <laughs> the banging of the cheese grater. I know, it's just like... The break's almost over. Also, we're another 30 minutes in the stream, so if we're new here, um, this is kind of weird, but I'm on my break technically, so follow. Smile. Bye, Mag. Good luck with your vaccine. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine, hon. The music sounds real nostalgic. I know, I never had a DS, but I remember I'd go to my friend's house and I would play Cooking Mama on it. It was one of my favorite games to play. Like, I would go to her house just to play on her DS. Looking back, I did that with a lot of kids Whoa, in my neighborhood. <laughs> Ask her for some personal lessons. You know what? I tried and she Where said no. So, shot my shot and I missed. You never Jump. played Cookie Mama before, really? I mean, whenever wow. I did play, it'd only be at my friend's house. So I only had like, up to like 30 minutes to play. So I'm not like a diehard fan. But <laughs> as I was practicing before that. stream, I was like, I genuinely might play this that. game off stream. Because <laughs> it's Perfect. simple enough to where like, it's enjoyable fun, you know? It's so going. Dude, this has been a perfect run so far. No way I lose here. 
Next up, plate it and snap it, guys. Megphone streamer. You gotta take pictures. I have a joke. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. That looks burnt. No, it looks literally perfect. Okay, this, this cross section, I love it. the best. Say the joke. Um, one gifted sub, and I'll say the joke. I feel like every queer couple's first date is a goddamn picnic. Whoa, holy sh! Thirty likes, huh? Perfect. Ooh, a hundred. That doesn't look golden to me. It looks perfect. I like a little bit of char on my sandwiches. Almost there. Oh wait. Okay. Oh, go! Oh. Oh, no. I it's messed okay. up. I didn't, I didn't even cook it. I didn't even cook it. I just turned it on and right off. Hey, yo. <laughs> Thank you for that gift of cold, cold bubble. I appreciate it. Okay, you guys want to hear the joke? You know the sandwich that was, like, cut down the middle and it had, like, the cheese, like, the cheese string? <laughs> it's really bad. It's really... Children, close your ears. Literally, close your ears. When I put my hand up like this, you can unplug your ears, okay? I was like, I damn, why is that sandwich spread out like that dripping and sh Okay, unplug your ears now. <laughs> Guys, I need to stop. Okay, roll it carefully. Okay, A. Okay, removing the joystick. Breaks over. Sad day. <clears throat> okay, so guys. It's not time for me to head back to work, unfortunately. But do not worry. Have no fear. Or peace in is here. If you want to watch more of my stream highlights videos on my YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash at peace in 17. If you want to finish that cooking mama video, save it for later. Okay, back to work, y'all. God damn it. I gotta get back from my union break. So I can get money from my lovely wife, Sheila. <laughs> okay. But thank you for hanging out. Okay. Now I'm going to verify that it's still synced. It's all good. Now back to work. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. I think it's a hi earlier. Because during, usually at the 30 minutes break, Usually during the 30 minute breaks, I like to like veg out a little bit because like it also gives me a chance for my voice to rest because doing these longer eight hour streams is kind of hard. Oh, um, VOD watchers, just kidding. Live viewers, I've been live since about 9 a.m. The only reason why it says an hour and a half uptime is because um, the stream crashed twice. So don't worry, I would never lie. This title is not a lie. Peace in 17 would never lie. You know, I'm feeling good. I've done about four hours in this game. Not even two jobs done. <laughs> um, don't worry. I'm gonna get lots of work done today. Oh my goodness. Sheila's gonna be so proud of me when she sees all the work I've gotten done. And no, I will not be drawing silly little pictures in the grind. 
I will not be drawing genitalia. Twitch talk, no need to worry. Thank you for the lurk crystal. I know that's the go-to thing to do, but I'm not that immature. Unless? <laughs> no. <laughs> Something that I didn't realize going into design is that whenever you make an original illustration or even doing like, even like a magazine spread, you have to be very mindful of what the overall composition looks like. Because not necessarily everybody has an art background. So you kind of do have to be mindful of if you have like hidden images in your illustrations. Like whether it be like you somehow accidentally drew like genitalia or certain symbols. Like, you know how there was, um... Oh, fuck, what, mag what newspaper was it? But, it's like, there was a swastika in the crossword puzzle one day. It's like, that's not something they can do on accident. Like, there's a difference between accidental and then an intentional design. Because usually anything that goes into print media, like, it's usually vetted and cleared by, like, multiple people. So... Like, usually if you see something in design, like something that's hidden, it's usually intentional. It's not often that they've missed something. So guys, do not worry. There will be no PPs hidden in my drawings. one time when I was in high school and I was really into like mandala pattern work and I was doing like a pattern that had flowers and the way that some of the flower petals were aligned it kind of looked like certain genitalia um and I remember my friends were teasing me they were like haha you drew a pee pee haha <laughs> and like I didn't get it because back when I was in like high school and middle school like I was super innocent like I didn't understand any any innuendous jokes and, like, I had no idea, like, what they saw in my drawing. <laughs> but, like, I remember I found, like, the little doodles I did that my friends were teasing me for. I was like, oh, I get it. Because <laughs> I'm obviously not going to recreate it. But I had, like, it was, like, one long flower petal and then, <laughs> like, two circles at the end of the long petal. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so stupid. <laughs> like, no way I would make a pattern or illustration like that now. Like, it'd be way too clear. <laughs> I was just too innocent. I didn't see it. But now, I have a degree in graphic design, so I can easily point out any hidden stuff in people's illustrations. No need to fear. Oh goodness. It's so dirty. <laughs> oh, I probably have to clean the top. Okay, let's see what I can do. I'm gonna need my step stool, cause I'm short. That's another reason why Sheila hates me. She thinks being 5'1 is not tall enough. If she wanted someone taller, she should just stay one of those alien people they're talking about on the news. <laughs> <laughs> How am I- I don't know if I can even reach it. Oh, I- okay, I guess I can. I just gotta loop around.
Man, this game is so satisfying. <laughs> oh, easy! Okay, I know I missed this edge here. is not clean. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oopsie. 89%. Okay, I think the only thing left is the shade. Now, I'm gonna do the roof first, because theoretically the water could drip down and make the work go quicker. One thing my papa always told me was think, work harder. Nope. Work smarter, not harder. He also told me to not tell his wife that he was cheap. <laughs> oh, clean! They better give you a good tip for doing this. I mean, it's my job. The only tip I really want is that cute lady's Instagram account. <laughs> I saw her eyeing me up. We don't need to tell Shayla about this. This is between you and me. I made a number eight. bad.
my god. Lean. We're nearly done, you're 94%. And it took how long? <laughs> nearly three hours, a little over three hours I think I've been doing this job. Sheila's gonna be so proud of me. I'm gonna buy her a nice steak dinner. Yeah, you're good, Will. I was gonna say, you guys should be making sure you guys are eating lunch, too. Technically, your work day is well. I should do the top first. Nine to six. So close. I really hope the game doesn't get any harder than this. I feel like once they have the soap mechanic, it's gonna make it a bit trickier. Like, figure out which solution to use. I'm also not drawing any funny pictures. I'm here to do a jump. You ain't gonna see me wasting my time riding high in the dirt before I spray it away. All I care about is good cleaning and good service. Okay, I think this might be the last panel. And then this job will finally be done. Get ready to spam, I was here.
classic metal store. <laughs> Sorry. Classic metal store above the gate. So basic. Horseshoe. I bet they shop at Hobby Lobby. My favorite store. Okay, not gonna lie, Hobby Lobby is pretty cool. Went there for the first time the other day. Amazing. 99? Yeah, I did not get that all the way done. Okay, let's see what else. I'm 100%. What is this? Does it track it? No. Oh no. Oh wow, I missed that. Holy. How disgraceful. Papa's gonna be so mad. Much better. It's squeaky clean? No, I'm not done yet. Retaining walls. Ninety-nine is close enough? No. It's not good enough. I told you I'd do it. Oh my god. I told y'all I'd do a hundred percent run. <laughs> Gonna inspect every hair space. Oh, this railing here, I see it. I see a speck. Sheila's been waiting so long. I don't care. I gotta get my full pay, my full payment. She knows I care about a job well done. Will you get her a gift? Of course. She's been wanting a new Louis Vuitton or some shit. If that's what'll make her stay, I'll buy it for her. Oh my god. Ew. How'd I miss this? I was too distracted thinking about those Insta, I mean Sheila, girls. Nice. Do some more specting. How is this not clean?
it has got to be. There we go. Damn, so close. Probably got to get under. Yep. Nice. I see it down here. See, look, I earned myself an additional twenty dollars. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Oh my god. See, I can't be showing the customer of these. They're not gonna give me that tip. Getting there. I got seven things left. I can do it. I thought I hundred percent of the chairs already. Oh, it's this one. Hmm. I see it. How did I miss this? Lawnmower handle. Shed foundation, shed roof. I thought they already chimed, though. Hmm. Oh my goodness. We're gonna get low.
So the foundation is done though. That's a fifteen dollar value. Oh, okay, so based on the percentage of how you will you clean, you get different monetary value. Okay. So there's like a minimum to clean to pass and then exemplary, you get an extra couple bucks. Hmm, so that's why they chimed but weren't necessarily fully good. Now it says the foundation is clean though. Yeah, they're all fully clean. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Golly me. See, 15 bucks I would have missed out on. That's like a whole Subway sandwich. I literally can't see the foundation though. Or maybe that was connected? Oh, the shed roof counted towards the shed foundation. Okay, that's why. Windows. Oh, this one's dirty. Okay, it shows the to-do list here now, whenever you have three left. So that's a good indicator. Okay, so retaining wall, swing, cushion, and fence post. Oh, I see a ton of spec here. Dude, it's literally clean. It says both cushions are clean. Hmm. Oh, it's the big one. Okay. You can't even see it. It's probably got to be like in the sides here. Nope, that was not it. Hmm. I wonder. <gasps> Underneath. Got it. There we go. Plus one dollar. Wow. Wow.
Okay, I have one more fence post and then the retaining wall. It says they're all done though. It sucks that it's only a four star rating, not five stars. Like, are customers gonna be really that nitpicky? Last percent taking forever? Dude, I know. It's gotta be one of these posts. Este? No. It's this one. Mm hmm. I see it now. Okay, one more thing the retaining wall. Okay, the retaining wall is this thing on the left. I ain't saying nothing. Not even a speck. Okay, the max value you can get out of retaining walls is eight. And I already have eight earned. Oh no, just kidding. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I can get an extra eight dollars. Two out of three. What does that mean? Okay, retaining wall. Retaining wall cap. That's supposed to stay green? I don't think so. Maybe? Yeah, I guess that's supposed to stay green. It looks ugly. I don't know. I'm clueless. I might want to look it up. Because it said in the main menu that there's three parts to the retaining wall. Okay, 
and the wall and the wall cap are fully clean. I'm looking it up. Okay, there's a Reddit thread that says stuck on 99% on clean the backyard. And then I'm looking at it. Okay, so once you select the item in the tablet, the piece will flat white, co white continuously as long as it's dry. Okay, let's try that. Over here. It's not flashing. Yeah, that was a lot. Is there really another wall? Hmm. Oh. <gasps> no way, dude. I okay, good thing I looked that up. I see now. Right here. Right here. Right now. That one little speck. Okay, you can only have one item selected at a time. You just have to have it highlighted in your little tablet. Finally. Oh my god. How many hours? Like four hours. Oh my god. I have three hours left of my shift. Yeah, you guys were here. Three more hours to go. Look at that. Nice. From Calvin. 
Doc, the yard looks fantastic. There are a couple of budding mountaineers already clambering over that rock garden, and I intend to join them. Thanks again on a great job, and if I hear anyone in need of it, I'll send them your way. Oh. Jeez. I think I'm gonna need myself a popsicle when I get home. Oh. Okay, I missed one message. Oh, it's just the same thing that I read already. Oh, okay. I wonder how many is in the campaign. Um, I want to do something quick. I don't want another four hour job for now. Let's do the bike. 75 bucks. From Joe Average. There's got to be something out with my dirt bike. You see, I'm one of life's winners. Every morning, I put four slices of bread in the toaster, but I only eat the slice that pops up first. When I have a coffee, I only drink the bit that wins the race to my mouth. But on this bike, I always finish dead last. I'm wondering if there's mud stuck in the manifest or whatever it is, shoving me down. I'm also kind of superstitious, so I haven't cleaned the thing in over 15 years. Thanks. Dude, it's... Yeah, there's mud in literally every orifice of the bike, man. Like, come on. <sighs> I'm gonna need some of my grog. Guys, don't worry, it's lemonade. Don't worry. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm gonna get this done in 10 minutes flat. I told Sheila I could squeeze in one more job before I head back home. And no, I was not cheating. I was just looking at my little Instagram girlies. I think top right is my total money. I thought it was money for the job. Even when I was younger, I had no desire to drive, like, an ATV or a motorcycle. I always knew that they were dangerous. Also, way too bumpy.
Already 84% done. I'm speed running. <laughs> this job compared to the last one? Yeah, that's why I wanted to do a quick one in between. Just to get my confidence up. And get an extra 75 bucks for Shayla. so grimy how oh my god 99 percent Okay, pipes and swing arm. Swing arm is all that's left. What even is that? Oh, I see. Seventy-five dollars of my life. <laughs> it's two twenty-two. I have two and a half hours left of my shift. My arm is a little stiff, but that's just part of the job. On to the next one. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> From Joe. Clean as an egg. You're a legend. Nothing can stop me now. Holy moly. Okay, clean the bungalow or clean the playground. Let's see, I got two and a half hours. I think... I'll do the playground. I think that'll, like, visually look a bit more interesting than a house. 
from the park warden. Dirt finder. I've got a frankly ridiculous I've got a frankly ridiculous situation on my hands. You see, some of the local children have been coming down with a curious and unsightly form of dermatitis, and a few fretful folk have been putting it down to the condition of the recreational facilities. It's all nonsense, of course. But if you could just humor them and give the whole thing a thorough hose down, I'd be most grateful. Six hundred dollar job. Nor do the kids keep getting sick. There's shit everywhere. Whew. Man, I'm getting tired. This blue collar job ain't what it used to be. Do you guys think we can get, like, maybe, um, a smuggler review smile? You know, we've been working for about five hours now. I feel like I've done a good job. I've gotten three five-star ratings already. Might take a bit longer, but I do a good job. Hmm. Okay, back to work. Okay, this isn't as big as I thought it'd be. This ain't that bad. Looked as clean as an egg. Thank you? I think that's good, right? <laughs> Eggs are clean. But thank you. Look at all this color come back. Almost like a miracle. Oh wait, this one has so much more coverage. Oh my god. What have I been doing? Oh my god, this one has so much more surface area. I've been doing this all wrong. Holy moly. Dude, how can you let the playground get this dirty? Oh my god. Shalia would be very proud of you. Sad face. Sad face. <laughs> she better be. I get the food on the table. All she does is take care of them goddamn grubby kids. They're probably the ones who played on this playground and ruined it. <laughs> okay, the chrome effect from the the water, like along the edges of the spray, is so weird. It's like psychedelic almost.
The colors are so pretty. Yeah, it's it's very nice compared to the drab <laughs> backyard we were in. Yeah, the color chrome is so weird. I don't like it. it I bet it's gotta be so sad right after you do a deep clean like this and you see somebody like ruin it. Like track mud on it or shit. It's gotta be the worst. You should speed run this game. I am already though. That's what I'm doing. You know what else I gotta do? I gotta tell y'all if you know here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and you can type in chat because we're another 30 minutes in the stream. Guys, follow. I need the clout. This is technically my 100% run, obviously. I told y'all I was gonna do it. Imagine this became my main stream game. I don't think I could. <laughs> it would be kind of fun to do like more RP streams more often. There's gotta be like 100% or 80% runs of this game, huh? And if not, I'll be the first one. This is tiring. I'm 
I'm gonna have to do the trim all over again. <laughs> oh. That's smart to do the floor first because it probably get done whenever I work on the bigger furniture but I just think this part is so satisfying to do first okay, I'll move on to the big one Okay, doing this motion is a bit easier. Because before I was manipulating the nozzle. Because this is the character walking, I think. And I guess this, this method would only really work if I'm doing... Working on a flat plane on the bottom. Easy? I like doing the handles. This is nice. Well, those handles have actually got to be so disgusting, IRL, though. Oh my god. I ain't letting no kid on no playground. There's creeps, and also it's disgusting. Look how filthy this place is. Do you think I'll be featured on Mike Rose's Dirtiest Jobs? 
I love that show growing up. Although I feel like it was made to promote the idea of just working your whole life. Get down there. Oh my goodness. I can't even fit under here. Blasted kids. Easy. Nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, I complete. Yeah, I completely did the roundabout. Nice. Okay, so I think what I'm going to try and do for this attempt is to 100% every single item before I move on. I'm going to try that this time. That way I don't have. Oh my god, I have a bug bite on my arm. That way I don't have to backtrack. Also, I have to gift stream elements a sub because she no longer has a sub. Ain't no way, thank you, Beeson, for the gifted sub. Thank you. <laughs> On to the next. Or reliable. This bench was red. Oh, it's so gross.
Bye, Mac. You get some rest now, okay? We need you ready for work tomorrow. I do have work tomorrow. Sad. <laughs> Did you get yourself a treat, Mac? Or are you just gonna tough it out? The playground one takes a bit. I think I have a better idea of what I'm doing. I'm gonna speed run. No treat? Come on. They didn't give you a sucker or something? <laughs> Oh yeah, it is rush hour. I forgot you're you're a bit ahead of me. You got a special Walgreens bandit. Oh my god, limited edition Walgreens? How am I supposed to dude, how am I supposed to get under here? Bomb. You'll get a treat tomorrow? You better. I hate seeing the people post, like, ooh, if you didn't get your Starbucks every day, you're saving potentially hundreds or thousands of dollars every year. And it's like, yeah, I get that, but, you know, my little treats keep me happy. Because... People need to understand that your day-to-day, -day, like, happiness is also just as, if not, more important than, like, your long-term happiness. Because, like, being happy in your day-to-day -day will keep you going. Oh, wow. I had so much left, but it just auto-cleared it. Nice. Okay, I'm going to double check that the bench is done. Bench. Are there two benches? Yes, there are several benches. Nice. Okay, I'm going to do the strat of 100% clearing every item before I move on. That's the way to go. How much longer on my shift? Um, a little over two hours. But I can do it. I'm holding strong. My love for Shirley keeps me going. You got this? Thank you. I know I can do it. You know, if all y'all can work a 9 to 5, I can do it too. <laughs>
Easy. Nice. One dollar to clean the bin. Wow. They don't ask for the vax, vax card? Huh. Cool? I mean, I don't think I lost my card. It's just I can't find it. <laughs> I think I know because it's because I have like multiple purses. So like if I take out one purse and then I don't take like my wallet or my ID out of that purse, then I'm just like, oh, where's my ID? And I just got to look through all my purses. You keep yours in a Mario Kart 8 case? What? Dude, that's... Okay, that's kind of weird. What if you get robbed and they steal your Mario Kart 8 cartridge case thinking it's the game but it's actually a Vax card? The robber would be so disappointed. I ain't doing that now. Okay, watch this. One shot, one shot. Ooh, so satisfying. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I can't wait till I get my vaccine. Because if I have to get surgery, then I have to be fully protected. That's like, I'm going to make sure I get all my boosters and everything at my next doctor's appointment. Because they said the earliest, if I do want to go through with it, the, early, the earliest I could get surgery would be like maybe spring, between spring and winter 24. So... I gotta make sure I'm fully boosted. And that everybody in the house is fully boosted and shit. Because after any um, procedure, you're more susceptible to infections. You're more susceptible to, like, any disease or contagion. So, I just have to be careful. In, in, uh, in the months leading up to it as well, I mean... Any games am I excited for in the new Direct? Oh my god, the new Eastward DLC! Oh my god! Um, Dave the Diver is coming to the Switch. I wanted to play it, but it wasn't ported yet, so now I'll get to play it soon. Um... There was this... Like, story game about a girl who lost her dad and then her dad came back. It's like being ported for the Switch, and then the sequel is never released in the States, and they're porting that as well. Um. Yeah, I was not expecting an Eastward DLC at all. I was so happy. Oh my god. I cannot wait. 
I got spoiled of the Mario Kart DLC. The only spoiler I got was one of the characters. Unfortunately. Yeah, because, like, they showed, like, a highlight reel of all the key moments from the direct at the very end, and then they showed the character, and I was like, fuck! I got jump scared. And then another person I followed posted a screenshot of the character, and I was like, damn it, I would have gotten spoiled anyway. Bench complete. Yeah, that bench is kind of cute, though.